Thanks for joining me today. I'm Jerry Brown. And I'd like to talk to you about 10 myths about triathlon. Some people think that you have to be a great athlete or young to participate in a triathlon. Well, a sprint triathlon is a, a shorter triathlon. It's still challenging for most people, but uh, it's, it's a good way to get started and you don't have to be a great athlete. Basically, if you uh, can finish the three events individually, you can probably put them all together as a good rule of thumb. The second myth is that you have to have a great bike to participate in a triathlon. Well, I don't have a good bike, so I can't do this. Well, you don't have to have a great bike. If you have a mountain bike or a hybrid bike, that would work. Uh, any bike that you're comfortable riding, and uh, after you've tried a triathlon, and if you've enjoyed it, and you want to invest more money in a bike, great. But to get started, you really don't have to have a great bike. Myth number three. A lot of folks think that you have to uh, stand up on the bike in order to have a good time and that that's going to really help you. Uh, that's not necessarily a good idea. If you uh, can stay in the saddle and downshift and you know save your legs for the run would be my recommendation. Of course, sometimes hills are very steep and yes, there is some advantage to using your weight when you stand up. But in general, you want to stay in the saddle and not stand up when you ride the bike. Myth number four. It's just as easy to swim in the open water as it is in the pool. Well, that's not really the case. There are people who swim commonly in the lake or in the ocean, and they just love it. It's second nature to them, and it's very easy to them. I actually met some of these people. They're freaks of nature. Uh, most of us, when we swim in the lake, it is more challenging. We don't have the stripe at the bottom of the pool to guide us. We can't see as well. If you're lucky, you'll be able to see your hands. Uh, you're gonna have to look up in sight with that, you know, you're going to have to raise your head up out of the water and check and make sure you're on track. And a lot of people have anxieties about swimming in the open water, whether it be in the ocean or the lake. I'm not an expert, but I have done it. And I would say that uh, one, one gentleman that gave a recommendation that I really liked was that to realize that you might panic. And if you do, you can say, hey, I knew I was going to panic. Let's get this over with. Maybe you have a, a defense mechanism that you turn to, like turning on your back and doing a few strokes on your back or doing a few breath strokes. And then you go back to doing your regular strokes after you get a breath. So that's, that's something that really helped me to realize that if you do start to uh, get short of breath and panic a little bit, have a plan of what you're going to do to settle down and get going because there's really nothing to be afraid of. Myth number five. The week of the race, you should train very hard. No, actually, you train very hard for many months for a triathlon, and when the week before the race comes, that's time to slow it down. They call it tapering. So you want to uh, be very cautious that week. Don't get an injury. Do your workouts, but not too strenuous. And then two days before the race, take that day off. Totally rest that day. And the day before the race, they recommend a light workout. So something maybe a third of what you would normally do for a workout. And then you'll be rested for the race and ready to go. Myth number six. It's not important to ride the bike route before the race. False. You want to either ride or at least drive the bike route before the race. I have a friend who's very experienced, a triathlete, and he took a curve too fast and went off the road and got a flat in a triathlon that we were at. We didn't get there in time to drive it like we had planned. I, in that very same race, took a curb too fast, hit the curb, and crashed. And that was a painful way to learn a lesson that you definitely do need to ride or at least drive the bike route before the race. Myth number seven. It's important to eat a lot of carbs the night before the race. Actually, it's fine to eat carbs the night before the race, but it's certainly not mandatory. Probably eat whatever you normally would enjoy eating, and it uh, is good for you. Uh, I would say that uh, whatever you eat, you want to eat a little earlier in the day on the, the day before the race because you're going to need to go to bed a little earlier. You're going to need to get up very early. And so just set everything on the early side. Also, don't overeat. Don't uh, maybe skip dessert that night and, you know, just keep it on the light side. The other thing is don't try anything new, you know, so something uh, that you're used to would be good for the night before the race. If it's carbs, that's fine. Myth number eight, it's important to eat a big breakfast the day of the race. Actually, for a sprint triathlon, it's not mandatory to eat anything at all. For 60 to 90 minutes of exercise, uh, 
the experts recommend that you don't, you don't, well, they don't recommend that you don't, but you do not have to eat anything. If you do choose to eat something, that's fine. You're going to want to eat probably about three hours before the race minimum. And uh, you're probably going to want to keep it on the light side. I usually like to have some oatmeal, uh, whatever you like, maybe an egg, some yogurt, but uh, something that you're used to is probably another good rule of thumb, but uh, keep it on the light side. Not quite as much as you normally would eat breakfast if you eat a big breakfast. Myth number nine. I should expect my times to be faster due to all the adrenaline in my body. Well, this could be the case for some superior athletes, um, or it could be the case for anybody, I suppose. It just hasn't been the case for me. I expected my times to be faster because I had trained so hard and rested and done everything properly and so forth. But when you put the three sports together, it's pretty taxing, especially it seems like in the pool, uh, or no, swim rather, uh, if you're training in the pool and then you're swimming in the lake. It, for the reasons we already discussed in this video, you, you're a little slower in the lake typically. I mean, not everybody, but you know, if a person, a lot of people have to train in the pool and then they go to swim in the lake and uh, it, it's good if you can practice swimming in the lake, that'll help your times. There was one time where I, I did a duathlon and I, my times were actually faster than I expected. So that was nice, but uh, don't get your hopes up on time. Do your very best. And uh, you know, you're looking to improve your time each time. But uh, if you're a beginner, don't be too awfully concerned about the time right here at the beginning. Myth number 10, I should plan to use better gear the day of the race. Probably not. Uh, whatever you've trained with uh, is what you should use. If you've got a special uh, suit uh, that you're going to wear, you, you should at least practice with it. You're probably not going to train with that special tri suit every week, but you should at least uh, swim with it. Uh, a time or two to make sure that you're comfortable with it. Don't don't put anything new into the formula here, uh, into the mix. Uh, also, uh, of course, if you're going to be wearing a wetsuit, you want to have practiced with that. Best to do that in a lake. If you can't, most pools will allow you to practice with it in their pool. So, you know, make sure you have tried these things out and don't try anything new on the day of the race. Signing up for a triathlon uh, is motivation because you know that date's coming and it gives you something to work towards. And the excitement of that day really helps you get through it. There's a lot of other people there to uh, participate with you. And it's mostly about finishing and uh, doing better each and uh, additional time that you participate. <laughs>